हाई एवरी वन लैट्स मेक पंजाबी ओथेंटिक दाल मखनी फॉर दिस टेक वन कप माँ की दाल और उड़द दाल अलोंग विद हैंडफुल ऑफ राजमा वी हैव टू वॉश दिस दाल फॉर थ्री टू फोर टाइम्स बाई रबिंग विद आर हैंड्स दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप डो नॉट स्किप दिस स्टेप रब दिस सेवरल टाइम्स यू विल गेट वेरी नाइस कलर Now soak this dal in enough water for four to five hours, and repeat the same process with rajma. Soak rajma also. Now after four to five hours, again rub with your hands once more, and we will drain all this water. Don't use this water while boiling. Now transfer. Uh, dal and rajma both to the pressure cooker and fill the pressure cooker with approximately 1 and 1/2 liter of water and pressure cook it after one whistle slow down the flame and cook for half an hour so guys please like and subscribe our channel we have many authentic recipes very very easy recipes too Now check our dal is ready. It's properly cooked. It's creamy. You can check with the, your fingertips. Guys, all the details of the ingredients is given in the description box. Box. We have taken ghee, onion, kasuri methi, garlic, ginger, and tomatoes. Along with this, salt, dhania powder, jeera powder, Kashmiri lal mirch, and turmeric powder, and amul cream and butter. So first, we have to make a paste of onion, ginger, and garlic. So guys, please like and subscribe our channel. Here, our paste is ready. Now heat a pan, add desi ghee, and then once the ghee is hot, add the uh, onion, ginger, and garlic paste. Fry it till it's golden brown. At the same time, make tomato puree. Once the onions are golden brown, add tomato puree to this. This is an authentic dal makhani recipe and easy recipe too. try this recipe and give the feedback in comment section now add salt kashmiri red chili powder dhania powder and jeera powder give these a nice stir then add haldi powder again give it a nice stir now cook till it leaves the sides of the pan once the oil is separated add the boiled dal give it nice stir so that tadka is well mixed in the dal cook it for 10 to 15 minutes add kasuri methi now give it a nice stir Our creamy dal is ready. Add butter, one tablespoon butter. Again stir it. Now switch off the flame and add two tablespoon cream. Dal makhani is ready. Now let us move to the next amazing combination with the dal makhani. That is lachha prantha. So uh, knead dough with the, a half teaspoon salt and one teaspoon oil. We will be kneading a soft dough with enough water. Knead it properly. cover it for 10 minutes 
now our dough is ready start heating a griddle and let us roll it into a chapati first here we will be needing a generous amount of desi ghee to apply on this chapati spread the ghee evenly all over the chapati now fold it like we make fans for our kids once all the folds are done we will be stretching it very lightly and start rolling it from the one end here our roll is ready again we will be rolling this roll into a chapati So guys there are many easy recipes on our channel you can try all those recipes and share your feedback in comment section here our lachha parantha is ready now let us cook this parantha on a medium hot griddle we'll cook this from both the sides till it turns into golden brown and apply generous amount of desi ghee on both the sides and you can enjoy this dal makhani and lachha parantha along with choice of your pickle and onions or whatever the complements you need or you like so here our lachha parantha is almost ready try this easy recipe of dal makhani along with lachha parantha so here the lachha parantha is ready it's a golden from both the sides let's transfer this to our plate and you can check the layers of the lachha parantha by crumbling it all the layers are visible thank you so much for watching the video